Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This video is written for intermediate to advanced English learners. Ready? Let's get started. Sweet English Recipes Before we explain three simple sweet English recipes, Let's go through some baking vocabulary. Splash. Splash. A splash is a small amount of liquid. Pinch. Pinch. A pinch is a small amount of powder. Mix. Mix. To mix is to put two or more things together. Stir. Stir. To stir is to mix ingredients in a circular motion. Rub. Rub. To rub is to press and move your hands or an object over a surface. Beat. Beat. To beat is to mix foods using a fork or a special tool or machine. Glaze. Glaze. To glaze is to make a surface shiny by putting liquid onto it and leaving it or heating it until it dries and it's ready to eat. Cream. Cream. To cream is to make food into a smooth, thick liquid. We might mention some measurements you don't use in your country, so here are some approximates to help you. 5 millilitres is 1 teaspoon, 15 millilitres is 1 tablespoon, and you might see this common abbreviation of TBSP. 2.5 centimetres is 1 inch, and 150 millilitres is a quarter of a pint. Now, we've gone through some baking vocabulary and measurements. Let's start with the recipes. In the summer, Brits love to eat freshly baked scones with lashings of cream and jam. They are quite easy to make and only require a few ingredients. To make scones, you'll need the following. You might want to screenshot these ingredients. 225 grams or 8 ounces of self-raising flour. If you don't have this in your country, don't worry. You can use plain flour and add baking powder. A pinch of salt. 50 grams or 2 ounces of margarine or butter. A splash of milk which is two tablespoons, a small beaten egg, three tablespoons of caster sugar, granulated sugar is also okay, vanilla extract, raisins, sultanas, cherries and chocolate are all optional extras that you can decide if you want to add them. Before you start mixing your ingredients, you need to heat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius, which is 425 Fahrenheit or gas mark 7. Then you need to grease your baking tray. This means you rub a small layer of butter or margarine on it. This will stop the scone mixture from sticking. Next, sieve the flour. Add a pinch of salt and rub in the margarine or butter until the mixture is like fine breadcrumbs. If you would like to add sugar, fruit or chocolate pieces, you can mix them in at this step. Now, mix in the egg and the milk. Keep a little of the egg to glaze the scones. If the mixture feels a little dry, Add tiny amounts of milk. The mixture shouldn't be too wet. Roll the mixture out to around two to two and a half centimetres thick and use a round cutter to cut out the scones. 
Place these on the baking tray and brush them with the leftover egg. This will make them golden brown. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes. Once they're finished, allow them to cool a little. Then you can add the clotted cream and jam. There are many arguments about which goes on first, so we'll let you decide. If you prefer butter, you can use butter and jam. Enjoy your scones with a lovely cup of hot tea. One of the most popular cakes in the UK is the Victoria Sponge, also known as a Victoria Sandwich Cake. Let's go through the recipe. For this delicious cake, you'll need 100 grams or 4 ounces of margarine or butter, 100 grams or 4 ounces of self-raising flour, 100 grams or 4 ounces of caster sugar. Again, granulated sugar also works. 2 medium eggs and a tablespoon of milk. First, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Gas mark 4. Now prepare your baking tray by greasing it with margarine or butter. Ideally, you'll need to use an 18 centimeter or 7 inch sandwich tin. Cream the margarine or butter together with the sugar until it's fluffy. Now beat in the two eggs slowly along with the flour. Mix in the milk and your mixture is ready. It's really easy and it should look something like you see in the picture below. Pour the mixture into your baking tin and bake for 20 to 25 minutes or for double the time if you put all your mixture in one tin. When baked, allow the mixture to cool and then add your filling. Traditional Victoria sponge cake has buttercream and strawberry jam, but you can add whatever you like. Now, let's go through our final popular English recipe. Fruit crumble is an easy and filling pudding that's perfect for warming you up during the winter months. To make a fruit crumble, you'll need 350 grams of fruit, 12 ounces, apples and berries and rhubarb are popular choices, 50 grams or 2 ounces of margarine or butter, 100 grams or 4 ounces of self-raising flour, and 50 grams of sugar. As with the other recipes, remember to preheat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius, which is 375 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 5. If you're making an apple crumble, cut up your fruit and place it in an oven-proof dish. For extra flavour, you could add a sprinkling of sugar and some cinnamon. If you're using tinned fruits, simply put them in your oven-proof dish. Then, using the same method you used when mixing the butter and flour for the scones, Rub the butter and flour together until it is like breadcrumbs. Add the sugar and mix together. Then simply pour the mixture over the fruit and pop the dish in the oven for about 30 minutes. You can serve your fruit crumble with cream, ice cream or custard. If you enjoyed these recipes, Please do tell us in the comments below. Perhaps we could do three simple savoury recipes for you next time. We hope you enjoyed these lovely English recipes. Thank you for stopping by. Remember, you can get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon!